Hey folks, Nass here. Another episode of Medieval Dynasty. Um, well, I was going to try and get on my horse uh, because I needed to go get animal feed. As you can see in the top left corner, I've got nine animals that can't get fed because <laughs> I'm out of animal feed. Uh, now we are still in the season one and I am apparently stuck. <laughs> This is, this is awesome. Okay, so stop that. Oh, that's annoying. Um, but I can't, I'm carrying too much. How am I carrying too much? What am I carrying too much for? I am not carrying too much. What is... Um, hmm. Okay, let's try getting off of this. Is the horse carrying too much? Let's open the saddlebags. Okay, so maybe the horse is carrying too much? Oh, I guess he is. That's interesting because I rode him over here with all that stuff on him. Did not realize he was carrying too much. Okay, let's take this stuff out. Transfer stack. Okay, so I have to transfer it to me. Okay, so now I'm carrying too much. Now the horse is not carrying too much. Okay, now can I can I just drop the logs? Drop the logs. Yeah, perfect. They even went in the next room. That's awesome. Okay, now, whoops. Got to hold E to get on the horse. Not carrying too much. Can we get out of here now? There we go. Okay, for whatever reason, I thought we were stuck in the barn. <laughs> or actually a stable, I'm sorry. Alrighty, so I want to head off and get some animal feed. Uh, run over to Gustovia real quick and do that. And then I want to go and do the uh, Unigos story. Uh, what is that, nine it looks like? You got to talk to Sambor. Because uh, we have reached year 12. We're actually in the summer of year 12. I've been trying to uh, do the farming and stuff to raise that farming level. Uh, so we can try and get to the apiary and the orchards. It's just very slow. Because I'm about 2,000 points behind right now. Uh, let's see. Where is... Let's go ahead and get off of this guy. Whoop, stop. Got to hold X to get off. And there we go. I think that's him right here. Come here, buddy. Come here. I need some of your animal feed. Uh, let's see. What do I got? I got 24,000 coin. Okay, so I've got plenty of coin. Let's just... What's that? 600 coin for 15 of them? We're going to buy all 31. Right? Did I buy all 31? Yes, I think I did. Four. Okay. Let's make sure I got it. Yeah, animal feed. There they are. Okay. Now, let's get back on the old stallion here. Let's get turned around and head back. Alrighty, let me head back and go drop off this animal feed, and then we will head over towards Sambor. So I will see you folks in just a moment. Alrighty, folks, we are coming up on Sambor's hut. Let's go around here, get off the steed, and let's go talk to Sambor. Oh, he's running off the other way. Has he got any new items here? I don't think so. No. And everything's still stealing. Okay. Uh, where did he go? This way. Sambor, where you at, buddy? Hey, Sambor. There are rumors you are looking for me. What is this about? Or what is it about? Sit down and listen. You might not want to hear what I have to say. So we got two options. Option one, I am per perfectly fine standing. What is it? 
Are you worried that I hunt all your game? Number two, thanks. I prefer standing anyway. What I don't like are bad news. Okay, so let's see. So either one. Let's try number one. Uh, don't be stupid. Uh, it is our game. And you couldn't hunt in a year what I track and kill in a month. Okay, well, that was... <laughs> It's probably true. Uh, sure, so what is it? I see you're hanging around with and working for Unigos. Truth be told, that would be enough to never talk to you again. But the folk around here say you are a good, you are good man, just like your uncle. You shouldn't share his fate. So we got option one. Well, Unigos is a Castilian, and he takes good care of the land. Option two, why would you say that? Well, I guess I'm going to say option two. Uh, because I believe you are better than Unigos, perhaps even as good and honest as your uncle was. Do you understand? I'm not sure if I like where this is going. What do you have to tell me? When I was much, when I was a much younger man, a few years before you came here, and a few months before your uncle died, uh, I had a strange visitor here. It was late at, at night, and he sneaked up on me successfully. On you, seriously? Yes, I wasn't that experienced back then, but still, this guy gave me the creeps. He was tall, had long black hair, and a huge scar from forehead to chin. Uh, let's see, around 10 years older than me and 10 times more scary, which is a lot. I know, I know, I am not the most pleasant type to be around, but I am neither a thief nor a murderer. And that was exactly what I told Scarface back then, although I admit my voice was shaking and my feet were trembling. What did he want? He wanted to hire me to kill Lord Jordan. Uh, he told me that your uncle was on the same kind of crazy trading trek all the way to the Germans and would be crossing the southern boundaries of our, of our valleys two days later. And there he wanted me to put an arrow in the back in his back shot from the darkness of the woods. It would have looked like a hunting accident or... What, a henchman was after my uncle? Why didn't you warn him? I swear by the old gods and the spirits of the forest, I tried. First, I thought he would kill me. Then he just warned me to keep my mouth shut and disappeared. Uh, with the first light of the new morning, I ran to Gustovia, always looking over my shoulder to alert the Castilian. And then, and then... I didn't even make it into the village, to be honest. When I approached the river, I saw two men on the road to Denica. One of them was the visitor from the night before, and the other one, yes, Unigost. They thought to be hiding from everyone's eyes, and a bag of coins went from Unigost to the stranger. He had a horse, a giant Pinsgower? I don't know that name, and if I butchered it, I apologize, uh, that carried him faster than any man could follow. I tried to make it south in time, but you came too late. Yes, it took me the better part of the day, and when I made it to around halfway between Lesnica and the southern lake, I already saw the trek. Uh, carts pushed over, oxen roaming around, and caught or caught in the leather, uh, trying to get away. No one was alive, and I retreated back into the woods, afraid of being accused. So that is why you distrust and despise Unigos. But why, did, why didn't you alert the authorities? There must be a steward in the city. And whom would he believe? My word against the Castilian? Aside of that, I have no proof. I mean, we can't be entirely sure he paid off the henchman for the assault. But as Jordan had no wife, no children here, 
All of his belongings fell to the Castilian. He sold, uh, he sold, I'm assuming that's supposed to say he sold off the buildings, cashed in the goods for your uncle, cashed in the goods your uncle had stored. Uh, we still have no proof. <clears throat> you don't believe me? I do believe you. Some of Unigoth's behavior suddenly makes sense to me, but still, I am in the same position you were. No, you are not. I was always a loner, an outcast. You have earned a lot of respect around here. People trust you. All right, we got two options again. <coughs> Excuse me. I could simply kill Unigost, or, uh, but how would I get Unigost punished? Uh, let's see. Now, obviously, Unigost paid the guy to kill his uncle. So at this point, you would be feeling rage <laughs> uh, and would probably want to kill Unigost. But I think we're going to try to go about this a slight bit more diplomatically. Uh, let's try number two. How would I get, how would I get Unigost punished? You cannot confront him directly. Don't forget, he commands the watch that I gathered. True that. But you still need proof or a witness. When I approached the remains of your uncle's trek, I had the slight feeling that there was someone else in the woods. I kept telling myself it was just my imagination. But now that I think of it, who's the only other hunter around that can match my sneaky, my sneaking? Gisela. Exactly. But we don't know if she was at actually a witness or if she had taken the job I refused I will find out alrighty there we go so we talked to Sam Bohr. we found out uh, Unigas dirty little secret uh, and now we've got to go talk to Gisela uh, so I will actually head that direction and see about talking with Gisela whoops did not mean to open that so I will see you folks when I reach Gisela. Alrighty, folks. We literally just passed Gisela. So let's go ahead and talk with her. Miss Gisela. Nope, don't go in. Nope. There we go. Hi, Gisela. Gisela, we have to talk. <clears throat> yeah, what is it this time? More taxes for Unigost? Oh, boy. Alrighty, so we got two options again. Uh, no, it is about my uncle Jordan and his early demise. I know you have something to do with it. Confess now or regret later. Ooh, wow, okay. Well, we got number two. I don't care to ask for more right now. Or, excuse me, I wouldn't dare ask for more right now, but I want to know what happened to my uncle, and rumor has it you can help me. Well, that sounds better. So let's go with two. Why would you say that? Because you were in the woods when it happened. You might have seen what happened. Excuse me. You might have seen what happened. Look, Jordan was a good man. Do you think he deserved his fate? No, of course not. His death was a loss for all of us, except for the one who wanted it. Uh, except for the one I saw back then. Uh, a name, please, and your promise you will witness in front of the king's men if needed. Please understand, I have to protect my family. I can't tell. I can't tell before you make sure we are safe. Uh, you have my word. I can, I can put up a good fight if needed, although I don't want to. If push comes to shove, I have Sambor's bow, too. That... That is unexpected, but good. Still, we live here a remote life. We need to be able to protect ourselves. I can hold off some thugs. My husband is still strong for his age, but my children are fully grown adults now, unless you haven't noticed. Maybe, but they never picked up my archery skills. If we have to post guards, they need a weapon both foolproof and reliable. Bring me two crossbows and 20 iron bolts, and I will tell you what I know. Fair enough. You shall have your weapons. 
Well, already, there we go. Unigos story nine updated. So we have to deliver two crossbows and 20 iron bolts to her. So technically I only really need to make one crossbow because I have 52 bolts on me. <laughs> well, alrighty folks, uh, let me head off and see about making her a crossbow and come back and deliver that to her. So I'll see you folks in just a little bit. Alrighty, folks, let's go find Gisela and give her her, oops, forgot I gotta hold X. Give her her crossbow and her 20 bolts. So I just, I went ahead and just made her bolts as well. Oh, excuse me, honey. Come here. Here are your crossbows. Simple enough to be fired by everyone. And as lethal as one of your best bows and 20 iron bolts as promised. Tell me what you know. All right, but keep it to yourself for now. I was indeed hunting near the place where your uncle got killed. I heard the, excuse me, I heard the screams, the sounds of fights, and cautiously moved closer. While I couldn't see who did the actual killing, I saw Unigost going through your, through your Jordan's belongings before retreating back along the path and sending forth one of his aides to discover the scene. You are entirely sure about that? Yes, I swear. Unigost may not have killed your uncle, but he for sure robbed him after his death. Uh, would you swear that in front of a justice of the peace too? No, not with Unigost commanding his own mil militia. Unless you can get them to be on your side or at least to stand down. And how should I do that? Talk to Jan. He might be sometimes foolish, sometimes full of himself, but his heart is in the right spot. And the others and the others in the watch respect him. If you have Jan on your side, you can challenge Unigost. I will talk to him. Alrighty. There we go. We've got uh, a lot more information out of Gisela, and now we've got to go and talk to Jan. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to save Jan for the next episode. Uh, so we're going to call this one here. And if you folks haven't uh, subscribed yet, please consider doing so. Uh, also, please consider giving a like to the video if you've liked it. Uh, if you disliked it, go ahead and hit the dislike button. That's good as well. Uh, maybe leave a comment, your thoughts and stuff on Unigost and what we're discovering here. Now, a lot of you may already know all of this, but for those of you who don't, uh, that's why we're going through these quests. But anyway, uh, you folks take care, and I will see you on the next one. Happy hunting.